That's a good start to our little reflection, half an hour, about friendship, people that you need to keep you going. And I think we all need people to keep us going, no matter how self-sufficient and self-confident we may feel. Some people, as I say, rely on their friends, their family, but a lot of people rely on their religion. Going to church is a great support. And a very good evening to you. Uh, you're listening to Radio Warnford live this Thursday evening. Sarah and I have been down to some of the wards in the hospital, had some great conversations with patients, and we're going to be bringing you a collection of their requests this very evening. And, of course, if you didn't get a visit from us, don't worry, you can still get involved by giving us a call. 401 402. We'll put you through to the studio here. Sarah and I will take your call have a chat and we can play any music that you would like to listen to if you're listening in the hospital of course uh, and you can see other patients around who may also like to tune in on their phones or their ipads or similar wi-fi enabled device then please share this with them tell them how to log on very simple free patient wi-fi we'll connect you for free to the wi-fi service in the hospital and then just look for radio warnford in any search engine and connect to us and listen to the music that we play both this evening live and all through the night 24 hours a day my name is sarah and steve and i have been down to 23 hour ward and and hatton, hatton. Yep. met some fabulous people didn't we We have and we've given out loads of mugs <laughs> we're really chuffed with ourselves we could give out a few more though if people phone us yeah if you give us a ring we'll give you a mug really <laughs> nice mug we've got red ones black ones red ones are the nicest though because they've got our 40th birthday logo on which They're was very last smart. year we met steve who's been in for a couple of days and he's from whitnash and uh, you do see seem to like your heavy metal we're going to start off black sabbath but keep listening because actually we've also got a request for bon jovi and also uh, we will play you some uh, led zeppelin as well it's a bit of a rock lineup it is so this is black sabbath it's into the void hope you enjoy it steve theme of needing people needing something i mean a lot of people actually get an awful lot of companionship and feelings of help from a pet it has been proved that if you have a dog or a cat just stroking the animal gives you a great sense of well-being calms you down which i think is true and this is for you carol carol lives in whitnash and we had a lovely chat and i said what do you like doing and she said oh playing with my four grandchildren and she was telling me about was it was it her daughter i think who lives in thailand she's in thailand i think yes yes, yes. been there to send photographs back to her and thought oh yes technology is wonderful which of course it is you asked for two tracks didn't you carol and of course we're very very happy to play them for you so i'll play them now and they're both absolute classics the first is lionel richie with hello and that's followed by whitney Houston. He said anything from the bodyguard so the one i've selected is of course probably the most famous one which is I will always love you. Amy and Blake, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you were still having the opportunity to listen in because I know you're saying you're going to be on your way home, you hope, by lunchtime today. But I hope that was a nice, nice little gentle thank you from Radio Warnford for allowing us to be with you at your bedside for those few minutes today. Uh, it's been a pretty sad week this week. Uh, some of you will remember it was the funeral of uh, Cilla Black up in Liverpool. A uh, fantastic turnout for a funeral. Uh, speeches made by Jimmy Tarbuck and songs by Sir Cliff Richard and many other of our showbiz friends. We would like to do our own little request for Scylla. And it's, it's, it's one of the most popular requests this week. It is for Scylla herself to sing Anyone Who Had a Heart. That, of course, was a wonderful Scylla Black, who this week, her album has gone straight into the charts at number one. And that's a feat that she never managed in the 1960s when she was at her most popular. But of course, the Beatles were around in those days, so they would regularly have been at number one because they seemed to monopolise the top of the charts in those days. Scylla, we will always remember you. Now, in the ward next door to Dave were some lovely ladies who I spoke to this morning, and one of them was Mary. And uh, we, had a, we had a great chat, and she was saying how much um, she sort of appreciated Radio Warnford and the hospital radio station, and I was saying to Mary, oh, why don't you come along and volunteer for the station? And she said, well, actually, she used to work for BBC Radio in London uh, back in the day. And Mary was the original Rita Road Report with Dave Cash and Kenny Everett. Oh, how 
so wonderful. She, I know. She did all the road reports um, uh, a little while back uh, for Capital Radio and Radio 1, and they had a special link to Scotland Yard. They they had a trip to Scotland Yard, um, the reporters there, a few years ago now, and they, they were on the blues and twos, I think that's what you say. So they had a blue light all the way to Scotland Yard, and they had a look around and everything. So um, so fascinating, fascinating career there, Mary. She's uh, She spends quite a bit of her time now at the mailbox in Birmingham, where BBC is based at the moment, and she does quite a bit of work for Ragdoll Productions, who are um, a television production company. So it was absolutely fascinating to hear what she did. And, and Mary, if you still would like to volunteer, we would love to have you. So you. It sounds like you've got a wealth of experience. I'm sure you could teach us a thing or two. So thank you for, for chatting with us today. Now... Mary, I think Mary has got a bit of a soft spot for Neil Diamond because she described him like this. She said that he's got legs up to his armpits and he's gorgeous. <laughs> 